Hi friend, let's talk about how to multiply your indie app revenue. I will show you how I got from about 400 in a month to more than 1000 in a month in revenue. I have free diving app net training app in the app store for many years already. I built it when I started freelancing to have something in my portfolio. It generated a few hundred dollars per month which was nice but a way too little to spend a significant amount of time for this app so that's chicken and egg problem. When I planned my goals for 2021 I wrote $1000 in revenue as a goal from my own app. Like ordinary people I procrastinated on my goals all year long and in October I took a look what I could do till the end of the year. It was too late to get fit or get my YouTube channel to 50k subscribers so I decided to work on my own up revenue goals. By the way, I'm back into running and you can help with subscription goals. The first thing I did start streaming my work on personal projects on Twitch currently also on YouTube. So it was harder for me to procrastinate when I was supposed to work on personal projects. Then I did basic analytics and math and found that my app has about 0.5% conversation rate from free users to paying customers. That's not a lot. So I decided to try to convert more users from free users to paying customers. But let me say one thing what I tried years before and filed. More features doesn't grant more sales. If your app solves most of the user's needs, adding a few more features will not convince those users to pay for premium version. If users are actively using the app but do not convert to paying customers, you should probably check if they know about the possibility of doing that, getting this premium version. So I decided to test this idea. Also, I decided to experiment with prices. Often, rising prices is the right thing to do. Discounts will not help to increase revenue. Higher prices for about the same 0.5% of paying customers may do that. Free app users were monetized by Google. Google Ads displayed in the app. AdMob ads generated about $20 to $50 per month and could not count as serious monetization. That was more than a distraction for free users. So I decided that I would show my own app premium banners instead of Google Ads in the app. So I started development and removed Google Ads from my app and replaced them with my own app pro version banner and raised prices for a bit. As a result, I got a bit more sales and bump in revenue. So that was clear win. Now let's talk about the big seller in my chart. I implemented a special offer for purchase in the user's onboarding flow. Now each user installing app for the first time will see a bit discounted price for a yearly subscription. Users can compare this price with regular prices and get it or skip it forever. <laughs> I expected this to work well and invested quite a bit of time for development, but the results are much better than I expected. Instead of one more small bump in revenue, I see that numbers are doubled and yeah, even more. What I learned and what are future plans? Indie developers should not be shy sellers. Many indie developers are too shy and do not sell hard enough their apps. It is okay to ask money for your work. I was horrible at it. The purchase screen was hidden in the settings and it was really hard to find it. I offered to remove ads from the app and provided a few additional features to premium users, but I had very few sales. Uh, I expected that it is because all the necessary functionality is available for free and users do not see much reasons to buy premium version, but I was wrong. I planned to add a few more features hoping to convince more users to jump into the premium user subscription but then I changed my mind and experimented with pricing and sales in general. What next? For sure I will continue work on my current app but I have already started work on one more project to get from absolute zero to few hundreds and hopefully thousands in revenue. You will hear about that project in upcoming videos.